Did you know that mastering your mindset can transform every area of your life? From handling challenges with grace to building deeper connections, your mindset holds the key to creating a life filled with resilience, growth and purpose. But here's the catch. It doesn't just happen overnight. You need to cultivate specific habits that strengthen your emotional core, sharpen your focus and guide your actions. In today's fast-paced world, distractions are endless, patience is fleeting, and compassion often feels like a lost art. Yet, these are the very skills that can elevate your life to new heights. If you've ever wondered how to remain calm amidst chaos, find wisdom in difficult moments, or connect with others on a profound level, you're in the right place. Get ready to dive deep into practices that will not only transform how you see yourself, but also how you show up in the world. From embracing patience to seeking wisdom, this journey is about unlocking the best version of you. Let's explore the steps to cultivating an unshakable mind and heart. Number one, embrace the present moment. Do you remember the last time you truly felt at peace? Maybe it was watching the sunset, its golden hues stretching across the sky, or perhaps it was the sound of waves gently crashing on the shore. Those moments felt eternal, didn't they? They reminded you of what it means to simply be, to exist without the constant tug of past regrets or future worries. It's in these fleeting yet profound experiences that the beauty of embracing the present moment reveals itself. Life, however, has a way of pulling us in different directions. Deadlines, bills, relationships and societal pressures create a whirlwind of noise that drowns out the simplicity of the here and now. You've likely felt it, that gnawing feeling of being overwhelmed, as though the weight of yesterday and the uncertainty of tomorrow are conspiring to rob you of peace today. But here's the thing. The present moment is all we truly have. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor and one of Stoicism's greatest voices once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. His words serve as a reminder that no matter how chaotic the external world may seem, we can always choose to center ourselves in the now. And the now it's not just a passing point in time, it's a gateway to clarity and power. Imagine a child playing in the park, completely immersed in their game, unbothered by what happened yesterday or what might come tomorrow. Do you remember feeling like that as a child? Free, uninhibited. Life was simpler then, wasn't it? But somewhere along the way, we lose that innocence. We get caught up in the noise of adulthood, chasing success, fulfilling obligations, worrying about things we can't control. And in doing so, we forget how to live fully in the moment. But here's the curious part. What if we could reclaim that sense of presence? What if, even amidst the chaos of modern life, we could find that childlike immersion once again? Start small. When you're sipping your morning coffee, Truly savor it. Feel the warmth of the cup in your hands. Taste the rich, bold flavor. Listen to the world waking up around you. In those moments, you'll discover that the present isn't just a place to escape to. It's where your power lies. Number two, practice gratitude. Picture this. It's a crisp morning and you step outside with a warm cup of tea. The steam rises curling like soft whispers in the cool air. The world feels still for a moment, as though pausing just for you. As you sip that tea, a sense of calm washes over you. It's nothing extraordinary, but it's everything. A simple pleasure that reminds you life is still beautiful, even on hard days. Gratitude has this quiet power to transform how we see the world. But let's be honest, when life feels overwhelming, it's tough to focus on the good. Missed opportunities, mounting pressures, or even the pain of loss can cloud our vision, making it hard to see the silver lining. And yet, those moments of struggle are precisely when gratitude becomes most important. 
Seneca, one of Stoicism's most profound thinkers, said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. His wisdom invites us to find joy not in what we lack or hope for, but in what we already have. Even in our darkest moments, there's something to be thankful for. Maybe it's the love of a loyal friend, the comfort of a roof over your head, or simply the fact that you've made it through another day. Think back to a time when life felt impossibly heavy. Maybe it was heartbreak or a period of uncertainty, where the future seemed like an insurmountable wall. Do you remember what got you through? Often, it's not the grand gestures or miraculous changes, but the small, steady moments of grace, a kind word, a warm meal, or even the resilience you didn't know you had. Gratitude is about recognizing those moments, no matter how small, and holding on to them as beacons of hope. Here's something to ponder. What would happen if you started each day by listing three things you're grateful for? They don't have to be monumental. In fact, the simpler, the better. A good night's sleep, a funny text from a friend, or even the crispness of the morning air. Over time, this practice rewires your perspective, training your mind to seek the positive amidst life's challenges. You'll find that gratitude doesn't just brighten your day, it builds resilience for the days ahead. Number three, cultivate inner strength. Picture yourself standing at the edge of a vast ocean. The waves crash against the shore, powerful and unrelenting. Some days the sea is calm and inviting, while other days it's fierce and intimidating. Life is much the same, ever-changing, unpredictable, and at times overwhelming. But just as a seasoned sailor learns to navigate the waters, you too can learn to weather life's storms. And it all begins with cultivating inner strength. Inner strength isn't about suppressing emotions or pretending to be invincible. It's about resilience, the quiet, steady kind that doesn't break under pressure. It's about finding the courage to keep moving forward, even when the path ahead is unclear. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher revered for his wisdom, said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. His words remind us that while we can't control the challenges we face, we can control how we respond to them. Think back to a time when you overcame something you thought was impossible. Maybe it was navigating a tough job, surviving heartbreak, or pushing through a health scare. Do you remember the strength you found within yourself? The strength you didn't even know you had? Those moments, as difficult as they were, shaped you. They taught you resilience, perseverance, and the power of your own will. Now imagine this. What if every challenge you faced was preparing you for something greater? What if, instead of dreading adversity, you could see it as an opportunity to grow? This isn't just wishful thinking. It's a mindset shift that can transform your life. Inner strength is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. And the best part? You don't have to face it all at once. Small acts of courage, choosing to get out of bed on a tough day, asking for help when you need it, or simply taking a moment to breathe, build that strength over time. Curious yet? Here's a thought experiment the next time life throws a curveball. Pause and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? It's not about minimizing the pain or brushing off the difficulty. It's about recognizing that every storm has the potential to shape you into a more resilient, wiser version of yourself. With each challenge you face, you're not just surviving, you're growing. And that growth? It's your greatest strength. Number four, practice patience. Imagine this. You're stuck in traffic, horns blaring around you, and the clock seems to tick louder with every passing second. You feel your frustration rising as your mind starts spiraling. Why is this happening now? Why can't people just drive better? It's a familiar scene, isn't it? One that highlights how impatience can take over, transforming a momentary inconvenience into a full-blown stress episode. 
Now, take a step back. Picture the same traffic jam, but this time you decide to breathe deeply. You let go of the idea that you're losing time and instead turn up your favorite podcast or music. The cars haven't moved, but your mind has. This is the power of patience. It doesn't change the situation, but transforms how you experience it. Patience is one of life's greatest virtues, but in today's fast-paced world, it feels like a forgotten art. We live in an era of instant gratification, where two-day shipping feels like a lifetime and buffering videos test our limits. Yet patience isn't just about waiting, it's about how we wait. It's the ability to endure challenges with grace, understanding that growth often requires time. The Stoics valued patience deeply. Seneca once said, How much better to heal than to seek revenge from injury? Vengeance wastes much time and exposes you to many more injuries than the first that sparked it. His words encourage us to approach life's frustrations with a calm mind rather than reactive anger. Think about the times when patience has served you well, when you waited for the right opportunity, allowed a relationship to grow organically or worked tirelessly toward a long-term goal. Those moments remind us that patience often leads to outcomes far better than impulsive actions ever could. Reflect on a time in your life when impatience led to regret. Maybe it was snapping at a loved one or making a rushed decision that backfired. Those moments can feel heavy, can't they? But they also carry lessons. Impatience teaches us what patience might have spared us. Pain, misunderstandings or missed opportunities. Curiously, cultivating patience doesn't require monumental changes. Start small. When you're in line at the grocery store, instead of scrolling on your phone, observe the world around you. Listen to the sounds, watch the people, or simply focus on your breath. Over time, these small acts of mindfulness build your patience muscle, allowing you to face life's bigger challenges with composure and strength. Number five, understand what is within your control. Life can feel like a whirlwind, can't it? From the unpredictability of daily events to the behavior of others, so much seems beyond our grasp. It's easy to feel powerless, caught in a storm of circumstances that refuse to bend to our will. But what if I told you that this feeling of chaos is an illusion and there's a way to regain your footing? The key lies in understanding what is and isn't within your control. Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher, taught us this timeless lesson. Some things are up to us and some things are not. His wisdom reminds us that while we cannot dictate external events, we hold full command over our thoughts, actions and responses. Think about it. How often do we waste energy fretting over things we can't change? The weather, the opinions of others, the outcome of a job interview, these are all outside our control. Yet we pour time and emotional energy into worrying about them, leaving ourselves depleted and frustrated. But when you focus on what you can control, your attitude, effort and perspective, you reclaim your power. Do you remember a time when you let go of something you couldn't change? Maybe it was accepting that a friend had made a decision you didn't agree with, or realizing you couldn't turn back time to undo a mistake. The moment you surrendered, didn't you feel lighter, freer? That's the beauty of aligning your focus with what's truly within your grasp. Curiosity sparks here. What would happen if you approached every challenge by asking, what part of this is in my control? You might find that life feels less overwhelming, more manageable. This isn't about ignoring problems, but about channeling your energy where it truly matters on actions and attitudes that lead to growth and peace. Number six, learn from adversity. Life has a way of throwing curveballs when we least expect them, doesn't it? A job loss, a breakup, an illness. Adversity doesn't knock before it enters. 
it barges in, disrupting our plans and forcing us to confront the uncomfortable. But while adversity can feel like an unwelcome guest, it's also one of our greatest teachers. Adversity shapes us in ways comfort never can. Marcus Aurelius wrote, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. His words remind us that challenges aren't just obstacles, they're opportunities to grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Think about a difficult time in your life. Perhaps it was a loss that left you reeling or a failure that shook your confidence. In the moment, it felt insurmountable, didn't it? But looking back, can you see how it shaped you? How it taught you lessons you might not have learned otherwise? Adversity often reveals strengths we didn't know we had and helps us develop empathy, patience and perseverance. There's a nostalgic comfort in remembering how far you've come. Those moments of struggle, as painful as they were, became the foundation for your growth. They remind us that while we cannot avoid hardship, we can choose how we respond to it. Here's a question to ponder. What if you viewed your next challenge as a lesson waiting to be learned? Instead of asking, why me? You could ask, what can this teach me? This shift in perspective doesn't make adversity less difficult, but it does make it more meaningful. And when life feels purposeful, even the hardest days carry a glimmer of hope. Number seven, seek wisdom. Imagine sitting in a quiet library the smell of aged pages filling the air as you lose yourself in the words of great thinkers. There's a certain magic to learning, isn't there? A sense of wonder that expands your mind and enriches your soul. Wisdom isn't just knowledge. It's the application of insight to live a fuller, more meaningful life. The pursuit of wisdom is a journey, not a destination. Socrates famously said, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. His humility reminds us that wisdom isn't about having all the answers, but about remaining curious and open to learning. Think about the people in your life who radiate wisdom. Perhaps it's a grandparent who shares stories of their youth or a mentor who guides you with their experience. What sets them apart isn't their intelligence, but their ability to see life's complexities with clarity and compassion. Do you remember a time when someone's advice changed your perspective? Maybe it was a simple phrase that clicked in a moment of doubt or a story that inspired you to take action. Wisdom has a way of meeting us exactly where we are, offering guidance when we need it most. Curiously, seeking wisdom doesn't require monumental effort. Start by reading books that challenge your thinking listening to people with different perspectives, or reflecting on your experiences. Wisdom grows not in grand gestures, but in the quiet moments of introspection and learning. Number eight, cultivate compassion. Picture this, you're walking down a busy street when you see someone drop their groceries. Without hesitation, you step forward to help. The gratitude in their eyes warms your heart, doesn't it? Compassion has that effect, it connects us, softens our edges, and reminds us of our shared humanity. In a world that often feels divided, compassion is a balm. The Stoics understood its importance. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? His words remind us that compassion begins with humility, recognizing our own imperfections before judging others. Think back to a time when someone showed you unexpected kindness. Maybe it was a friend who listened without judgment or a stranger who offered help when you needed it most. Those moments stay with us, don't they? They remind us of the goodness that exists in the world, even in its darkest corners. Curiously, cultivating compassion doesn't just benefit others. It transforms us. Studies show that acts of kindness boost our own happiness and well-being. But beyond the science, compassion enriches our lives by deepening our connections and giving us a sense of purpose. Here's something to try. 
The next time you feel frustrated with someone, pause and ask yourself, what might they be going through? This simple act of empathy can dissolve anger, build understanding, and create a ripple effect of kindness. Compassion isn't just an emotion, it's a choice. And in choosing it, we make the world and ourselves a little better. You've made it this far, which says a lot about your commitment to growth and self-improvement. Not everyone takes the time to reflect, learn, and take action, but you're clearly part of the rare few who do. Remember, each step you take, whether practicing patience, seeking wisdom, or cultivating compassion, brings you closer to the life you've always envisioned. Drop a hundred in the comments if you're ready to take charge of your mindset and become unstoppable. And if you're serious about creating lasting change, Join our community by hitting that subscribe button. Together, we'll continue unlocking the tools to transform your life.